Hey everyone, we're Team Handoff and are excited to demo the MVP of our component spec tool with you today. One of the most exciting parts about design systems gaining more popularity are that more and more people across disciplines are getting involved, and also then highlighting more and more pain points on ways we as a group could work better together. A specific pain point we identified when discussing our work experiences is around the expectations or assumptions of what our design tools provide and where those gaps are. When working in those tools and collaborating with others, we hear things from our designers like, the final version does not match the design, or Figma gives all the information needed to build these components. Or from our engineers, I can't use the CSS output from Figma, I have to figure out my own way. Or how should this component behave when the container grows or shrinks? These sentiments led us to believe that the specifications around design of components is not as clear as it can be. And this led to the following problem statement. Handoff of specifications, things like the tokens, spacing, states, etc., is often difficult and or lacking for components. Design files on their own don't provide enough information to successfully develop components the way we want for our design system. These spec files should include all of the relevant properties and behaviors prescribed by the designer, and then, in a perfect world, a designer and an engineer would discuss all of the different aspects of the component, add additional notes, and then get to work but many of us don't have access to full-time engineers or even have a fully staffed design systems team at our organization, which makes the handoff of these specification files even more important. So the solution we're pitching to help solve this problem is to create a component spec tool library in Figma that designers can use to document components with an engineering first mindset. Sharing this library via Figma community can serve as a consistent means of documenting components accurately and consistently. Now I'll demo that tool for you. So our library file has a few parts, the main one being the spec pages and the second being the annotation tools. The idea is that a designer with the help of an engineer can use the two parts of this library to adequately document specifications and properties of a component. You'll notice in the MVP we've taken an engineering first mindset and pre-filled a handful of the annotation tools to include many of the common CSS properties that an engineer would expect a designer to specify. Now let me show you what it looks like in real time to work with it. So you can imagine I just finished building my button. I've got a primary state, default, and a handful of other states, hover, active, focus, etc., and even a button group component. Now I'm moving on to my spec, knowing I need to detail some things for my engineers. Using the annotation tools, I can pull out an annotation spec page for default component anatomy, right? So I know I'm going to need to do some, some basic specking here. I can then add my Figma component that I just built and put it on my artboard. Then I can begin to pull out some of the annotation tools we've included. Like I know I need to spec a border, some colors, and maybe some typography. Then using these tools, I can go in and map the little tooltip widget to the specific area that I want to spec. So in this case, we'll do the color, and in this case, we'll do the typography. And these annotation tools are editable, so I can go in and change, for example, if I'm specking this at 10 pixels, you know, or five pixels, or whatever, and I'm adding color here, and you can see like a hex value, so on and so forth. The tool is very much in its MVP state, and there's a lot of areas of improvement that the team would like to get to, and even more complex integrations the team thought would be cool to explore. For example, mapping the annotation tool widgets in Figma to the tokens plugin so that the annotations can be more accurate and depict the actual styles that exist in code or in your token files. We also went back and forth on which specific properties to include within the annotation tools. A lot of what we chose is generic, but there are many nuances, as we know, about each company and team's approach to implementation. We wanted to be sure the tool in its first draft was flexible enough to allow for those variations too. Team Handoff really enjoyed digging into this particular problem since it's one that we all face regularly within our work. We feel that having a streamlined way of creating specification files and an easy tool to use to do so will greatly enhance the quality of the documentation as well as the level the playing field for both new and experienced design system professionals in the space. Thank you.